Hi friends, today we are going to see demo on how we can manage our organization. So before we proceed, let's have a brief info about organization. So organization is a first class snowflake object that links all account owned by your business entity or a company. Organization helps or simplify uh, various things like account management and billing, database application, secure data sharing and account administration, etc. So if you had not gone through my recent blog on organization, I would suggest you to please have a look. Let's have a demo. So today in this demo, uh, we will show how you can switch your role to org admin. So that's the role which help you to manage your organization and how we can create account in an organization. So say if you have an uh, organization XYZ, right? and you have multiple entities right so you have a certain branch or you can say have it you have offices on different location and you want to create a specific account to that particular location so what you will do earlier we have to create a multiple accounts but then now we have a concept of organization so our organization will be the uh, super entity and our account individual account on particular location or a particular uh, tag to a particular location and uh, cloud services will be sub entities. So it will be uh, more easier for us to manage uh, some of the uh, uh, things like the billing, account management, database application, secure data sharing, etc. etc. So let's see how we can switch to our org admin role and how we can create the account if you want. So first step is to switch the role. You have to click on right hand side, switch role and you have to go on org admin. The moment you click on org admin, your role is switched to org admin and you will see a org admin button over here like this. So if you click on here, you get a direct access to create an account from directly from here. So you don't have to go to Snowflake and ask them to create an account for you or you don't have to raise a ticket. You can directly create on your own. So if you have an org admin role, you can go on organization and click a new account. So as of now, you can see I have only one account, which is on Azure West Europe. Now say if I want to create a new account, say I have a, I have a different account, but it's on the same reason. So today I will go going to create two new account. One will be on the same reason, but it will be on the, it's a separate account. So that I am going to use on my future demo. So I'm just creating and uh, letting you know how we can create that. Another account I will create on different reason, but on the same cloud. So here the two, two uh, account will be on the same cloud. One will be with the same reason. One will be with the different reason. And third account I am going to create on the different reason and different tech, a cloud provider. So there will be altogether three, three account new. So let me create uh, first one. So I'm going to select the Microsoft Azure. I'm going to use the same reason, which is my current West Europe. And I'm going to use enterprise uh, edition for all my account. So I'm just going to give a very simple name. So AZ stands for Azure and it will be West Europe and then underscore I'm just going to use enterprise edition so that's my first account so Azure West Europe enterprise edition so I'm just going to copy this and I'm just going to start a new option and I'm just putting account one this is the name of the account for all my account, I will keep the same. So I will just provide the same details for simplicity. I'm going to provide the same email ID. So let me copy this so that I don't have to paste again and again. All right. So I'll just say create account. Sometime it takes some time because uh, the moment you click on the create account, it will take some time. So you can see there are some details. So what we have to do, we have to just copy this all, all the things for our future uh, understanding so that we remember else we will forget everything. Let me quickly 
set up this so account name account URL account locator account locator URL enterprise edition cloud I think we don't need them these are okay region we need to understand what is the reason for future and these are the admin information like username is this and email id is this so now we don't need them because we have this information so this is account number one so this is on the same uh, same cloud provider same location same addition now now let's say done so you will see that the new account has been added over here and because we have provided the name it didn't take the auto generated name now the second thing uh, we can also try to log in but i will do it later on so what i will do again is i will create a new account here i am going to use the same azure but the location will be different so uh, i would like to use something in europe only not europe so currently it's west europe i want to use the north europe and the same enterprise edition click on next and i will say az azure not europe enterprise edition and i will just copy paste the rest of the detail from here so i will just copy the email id from here So if I click on create account, it will again give me all the details on the screen and then I will just copy them and paste it on the screen. So let me quickly do that. And the moment uh, all the things are done, so I will drop all the accounts because I don't want this much of account. So all these details, I'm just going to drop all the account once my task is done. So this is only for the purpose of the demo and these details are no more required or no more useful for me once this demo is over. So all these details are same so I will just keep this like this. This is the second account with same as uh, cloud provider different location and same addition. Here addition is not that much of important because we are not going to change anything. If I click on done, you will see that again the second account. Now I'm going to create a third account which will be totally different region and different cloud provider. So I will choose uh, Google Cloud Platform. I will choose uh, US Central. And I will use the same enterprise edition. I will click on next. This will be... Uh, gcp underscore uh, I forgot let me go back I use US Central right US Central and then Enterprise Edition then I will just copy paste the email ID from here click on create account so you can see that my uh, third account has been created let me first copy paste and then we will start testing all the other account so account name is this account URL is this account locator is this locator URL this Uh, we don't need them because by name we can understand region is important to understand for future perspective rest everything is same so we'll keep this information as is. so now if you see here if I click on done I have in together four account 
one on the same cloud same location same addition another is on same cloud different location same addition and third one is different cloud different location same addition so now if you see uh, i have the account url i have an account locator url what i am going to do is i am going to pick one account at a time so first of all i will just click on this and i will try to log in into this so let me open let me see if it's created or not so oh, sorry so i can see my account has been created let me see if I am able to log in or not. Similarly, I am also going to add the URL for the other two as well. And for the third one as well. So let me just copy this one and paste it over here. So by the time, so this account has not yet been created. This is being created, this is being created. So by the time we will come over here, this will also be get created. So let's click on this. I hope I will be able to log in. Let's click on here. Let's see if I'm able to log in or not. All right. All right, I have to just change the password because I will, I think I forgot by default when you create a account, it will ask you to change the password. The same will happen over here. And if I choose here, I will just have to click on sign in and then it will ask me for change the password. So I will do just the same and then I will click submit I hope this should have been created till now yes so by the time it will get completed uh, all right so you can see that I am able to connect over here and if you see um, I'm not sure why I'm not able to see the Worksheet okay. Now I'm able to see the worksheet and let me switch my role to account admin so that at least I can see the snowflake and snowflake sample databases because I have not created anything yet. So no, it's allowed me and I uh, will just see sign in and then I will just change the password. So let me sign in over here as well. So now it's logging me in a bit slow because this is the first time uh, I think all the profile setup and everything is happening behind the scene but for the future login I think it should be okay. So let me switch my role from here to account admin and now we am able to see the snowflake database. So now we can do uh, all the things what you want to do uh, as a normal one and you are able to log in over here and then you are able to see everything as you are able to see in any other account so this is my parent account and all the other are my um, child or the sub sub accounts so let me see so or can i additions i believe this is the command okay okay so organization accounts i believe that's the command yes so if i click here and if i do it over here oh there is no replication okay sorry copied the wrong thing and to copy this one okay I need to be on the org admin role to see those things 
So now you can see So there is one thing which I wanted to show you managed account so the account which was the main account uh, where it gone this one let me show you another thing yes so if you see here right that's my parent account and that's the managed account and that is created by sign up service for me and rest all the other are not managed account those are created by me and you can also see uh, all the additions all the snowflake region over here all the account name and the organization name so my organization name is this and this is the account url so we can this is another way you we can also log in so if i copy here and if i paste it over here so let's see if we are able to log into this or not So now you can see that uh, I am able to log in both the URL. The difference between this URL and the previous one was that over here we have a prefix of organization name and then hyphen and then the account name. But in earlier if you see the same GCP one right. So if we go here you will see that we have a different URL. Here the name of the organization was not there. But here you will see that the name of the organization is there. That's the only difference but both the URL are okay to use so whatever you want you can use now if i um, so that's 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 uh, yes so for this demo i think i would like to conclude over here and we will see much more detail in the upcoming demos so if you like the demo please subscribe to my channel and like this video thank you